Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I'm Sarah Lebrek. The Deputy King, His Royal Highness Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, received senior delegates participating in the 18th edition of the International Institute for Strategic Studies Manama Dialogue. His Royal Highness emphasized the importance of furthering international efforts to address various challenges and promote regional and global peace. His Royal Highness noted that Bahrain, led by His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, the Supreme Commander of the Armed Forces, will remain a beacon of peace and will continue its commitment to support efforts to enhance regional and global peace, security, and stability. His Royal Highness emphasized the importance of dialogue as a strategic solution to maintain peace and support regional and global development. His Royal Highness welcomed the senior delegates to the Kingdom and highlighted the importance of international forms as a platform to exchange ideas, provide better solutions and serve joint regional and global security interests. His Royal Highness extended his best wishes for the success of the Manama Dialogue and expressed his hope that outcomes will further with further cooperation to achieve the region's growth, progress peace and security goals. For their part, senior delegates expressed their gratitude to His Royal Highness for his unwavering support to enhance regional and global security and peace and wish the kingdom continued progress and prosperity. A number of senior officials also attended the reception. The Deputy King, His Royal Highness Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, met with the Secretary of State for Foreign, Commonwealth and Development Affairs, the Right Honorary James Cleverly at Rifah Palace. On the occasion of his participation in the 18th edition of the IISS Manama Dialogue, His Royal Highness highlighted the strength of long standing Bahrain UK relations and noted the importance of bolstering cooperation to achieve common goals. His Royal Highness noted that Bahrain remains a beacon of peace, emphasizing the Kingdom's commitment to supporting bilateral efforts that consolidate regional and international security, stability and peace. During the meeting, issues raised at the Manama Dialogue, the latest regional and international developments and issues of common interests were also discussed. The Minister of Foreign Affairs, Dr. Abdel Latif bin Rashid Zayani, and the Minister of Cabinet Affairs, Hamad bin Faisal al-Malki, also attended the meeting. Her Royal Highness, the wife of His Majesty the King and President of the Supreme Council for Women, the SCW, Princess Sabika bint Ibrahim Al Khalifa, expressed great pride in the results of the parliamentary and municipal elections. She welcomed the wins achieved by eight women to the Council of Representatives and three women to the municipal councils. The SCW President expressed her pleasure with the performance of the women who were determined to activate their political participation and took the initiative to run in the elections and contribute to the national democratic exercise. Her Royal Highness said that it is a patriotic and proud moment in appreciation of the successive achievements of women in Bahrain. She congratulated His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa for the continuous support to ensure their equal participation in the national building process and preserve the advanced status of Bahraini women in national affairs. She also expressed appreciation for the attention accorded by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa to Bahraini women that enhanced their stability and advancement as a national priority. Her Royal Highness sent her cables of congratulations to the Bahraini women who won in the elections in which she praised their efforts and wished them success. 
Bahrain Defense Force PDF Commander in Chief Field Marshal Sheikh Khalifa bin Ahmed Al Khalifa received U.S. Central Command Commander Lieutenant General Michael Corella and the accompanying delegation on the sidelines of his visit to participate in Manama Dialogue in the presence of Defense Affairs Minister Lieutenant General Abdullah bin Hassan Naimi and BDF Chief of Staff Lieutenant General Diab bin Sagr Naimi. The BDF Commander-in-Chief praised the close relationship and friendship between Bahrain and the U.S. and the development they witness at all levels, which enhances the advancement of cooperation and joint coordination. He expressed aspirations for the continued continuation of this coordination in various affairs, especially in the military field, which would contribute to the development of cooperation and defense affairs. Also present were the Director of the BDF General Headquarters Court, Major General Hassan Mohammed Saad, Director of Military Cooperation, Major General Pilot Sheikh Mohammed bin Salman Al Khalifa, and a number of senior BDF officers. Bahrain Defense Force BDF Commander and Chief Field Marshal Sheikh Khalifa bin Ahmed Al Khalifa received Singapore Senior Minister of State in the Ministry of Manpower and Ministry of Defense as Zaki Mohammed on the sidelines of his visit to participate in Manama Dialogue in the presence of Defense Affairs Minister Lieutenant General Abdullah bin Hassan Al Naimi and BDF Chief of Staff Lieutenant General Diab bin Sagr Al Naimi. The Commander in Chief praised the relations between Bahrain and Singapore in all fields. The meeting also discussed issues of common interest. Also present were Director of the BDF General Headquarters. Quarters Court Major General Hassan Mohammed Saad, Director of Military Cooperation Major General Pilot Sheikh Mohammed bin Salman Al Khalifa, and a number of senior BDF officers. The Deputy Prime Minister and Minister for Infrastructure Sheikh Khalid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa received the special envoy of the Chinese government on the Middle East, Dai Jun. Sheikh Khalid praised the level of cooperation between Bahrain and China and its progress over the 30 years since its establishment. The Deputy Prime Minister wished the Special Envoy a pleasant stay in Bahrain and success in his participation in the Manama Dialogue, which aims to exchange views between high-level participants on security, strategic and economic challenges. He stressed Bahrain's aspirations for the success of GCC China Summit and the Arab Chinese Summit to be hosted by Saudi Arabia in December. For his part, the Special Envoy expressed appreciation to Bahrain for hosting the Manama Dialogue and his country's keenness to enhance cooperation with the Kingdom in various fields. The Minister of Foreign Affairs, Dr. Abdelatif Zayani, met with his Greek counterpart on the occasion of his visit to Bahrain to participate in the 18th Manama Dialogue Conference. Dr. Zayani expressed thanks to his Greek counterpart for accepting the invitation to visit Bahrain and participate in the conference, noting that it became a regional and international platform for exchanging views and ideas and for developing relations and building friendships between participating countries. He stated that Bahrain, under the leadership of His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa and with the support of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, believes that peace and dialogue is the best path towards diplomatic solutions to ensure global security and stability. The minister added that coexistence and dialogue are Bahrain's messages to the world, which is a message that represents the path towards global prosperity and sustainable peace. As Ziani said that this discussion session focused on strengthening and developing the strong historical friendship relations between the two friendly countries within the framework of mutual respect and the common desire to enhance and develop bilateral cooperation in various fields. He noted that discussions dealt with areas of cooperation Operation ways to develop them to serve mutual interests. He added that an agreement was signed between the Bahraini government and the Greek government regarding tax exemption from visa requirements for holders of diplomatic special and services passports, an MOU between the Ministry of Foreign Affairs and the Greek Ministry of Foreign Affairs, Greece for cooperation in the field of diplomatic training. As Ziani affirmed Bahrain's desire to intensify cooperation and enhance partnership with Greece at all levels, expressing that the kingdom looks forward to the upcoming visit of the Greek Prime Minister to Bahrain. For his part, the Greek Minister expressed pleasure to visit Bahrain to participate in the Manama Dialogue Conference, adding that a fruitful session of bilateral talks was held with Ziani and preparations were made for the upcoming visit of the Greek Prime Minister to Bahrain, during which a number of agreements will be signed to enhance cooperation between the two friendly countries. 
The Minister of Foreign Affairs, Dr. Abdel Latif Azayani, received the Chief Technical Officer of the U.S. Senate Foreign Relations Committee, Colin Brooks, on the occasion of his visit to Bahrain to participate in the 18th Manama Dialogue Conference. During the meeting, they discussed the course of the close historical friendship between Bahrain and the U.S., the distinction of these relations at various levels, and the means to enhancing the strategic partnership to achieve common goals of interest, in addition to discussing a number of regional and international topics of common interests. The Minister of Foreign Affairs also received the Executive Vice President of the Arab Gulf State Institute in Washington, Ambassador William Roebuck, on the occasion of his visit to Bahrain to participate in the 18th Manama Dialogue Conference. They emphasized the depth of the friendly relations between Bahrain and the U.S. and the development they reach at all levels. They also reviewed the latest developments in the, regional, in the region, the challenges facing regional security and issues of common interest. The Minister of Foreign Affairs also received the Chief Policy and Political Affairs Officer at the American Jewish Committee, Jason Isaacson. During the meeting, they discussed the Bahraini-U.S. relations and the efforts made to develop bilateral cooperation in all fields to serve common interests. In light of IISS Manama Dialogue, a U.S. delegation in Bahrain to discuss the most pressing regional issues, U.S. Deputy Assistant Secretary of Defense for the Middle East, Dan Stroll, has praised Bahrain's eminent role in the Middle East and hailed bilateral relations. It's such a pleasure to be back in Bahrain. The purpose of the visit, first of all, was to attend the IISS Manama Dialogue, which is the preeminent forum in the Middle East for discussing uh, developments in the region, opportunities and risks. Uh, and of course, Bahrain is an incredibly generous host as it has been for years. We brought a very high ranking U.S. delegation here, not only to have a series of meetings uh, with other counterparts at the Manama Dialogue, but we also saw His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, who is a critical strategic partner of the United States and also a visionary and courageous leader in the region who is setting very important trends and leading for the future uh, security of the region. We are really experiencing a height in our bilateral relationship. Bahrain is an incredibly important and generous host to the U.S. Navy Fifth Fleet, as well as the headquarters for the U.S. Navy in the Middle East. And through that, we have been expanding our critical partnership. Um, Bahrain not only bilaterally is, is so important for the U.S. and our security, but right now is setting the standard for visionary, courageous leadership in how we work together across the region. Um, the bold decision of Bahrain's leadership to enter the Abraham Accords, and then this year with the Nega Forum, all of this is about uh, expanding our security ties, not only in the, in the defense and military sector, but across culture, economy, trade, innovation, education, etc. And through that expanded circle of peace and security, we know that it'll be better for the region and better for how the United States can partner with our with with Bahrain and the rest of the region. The head of the Supervisory Committee of the Capital Government, uh, Chancellor Naif Mahmoud, has announced the results of the parliamentary elections in the government after the polling stations witnessed a large turnout of voters to choose their candidates in the four governments. The head of the Supervisory Committee and Muharra Governance Chancellor Dr. Ali al shwayikh has also announced the final results of the parliamentary and municipal elections in the Governance. The head of the Supervisory Committee in the Southern Governance, Judge Fatma Hbeil, has announced the results of the parliamentary and municipal elections in the Governance. In the Northern Government, the head of the Supervisory Committee, Chancellor Fahad Khalid al Bouainin, has announced the final results of the 2022 parliamentary and municipal elections in the Governance. The chairman and judges of the Supreme Committee for the General Supervision of the Safety of Elections congratulated His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa on the success of the first and second rounds of the 2022 parliamentary and municipal elections. The Supreme Committee said that based on the full judicial supervision and in order to protect the rights and freedoms guaranteed by the Constitution, the committee was keen to ensure that citizens were able to exercise their constitutional right in light of transparent and fair elections. The committee hailed the historic participation in the election 
Elections, which embodies the faith and determination to actively participate in promoting the reform project through constitutional institutions. It stressed that this participation reflected many of the achievements made in light of the royal patronage that increased democratic action. The committee expressed thanks and appreciation to all those who participated in the success of the elections led by the Ministry of Interior for their efforts in securing the electoral process, the Ministry of Foreign Affairs and Embassies and Consulates for their efforts in organizing voting abroad, the Ministry of Education and the Ministry of Municipalities Affairs and Agriculture, the Ministry of Information Affairs and other authorities. It also expressed thanks and appreciation to the Executive Administration of Elections, all working committees and volunteers for their tireless efforts in organizing the parliamentary elections for the sixth legislative term, as well as the municipal councils. The runoff of the 2022 parliamentary and municipal elections witnessed a wide popular participation in all polling stations. Since the ballot boxes were open for voters to choose their candidates in the four governors, the runoff witnessed a prominent and distinguished presence from all segments of society, especially Bahraini youth and women, to actively participate in this democratic process.